Good morning, everyone. Today we're coming to you from the Batu Caves, which is about 30 minutes from Kuala Lumpur. Excellent train ride. So we're checking out a heap of temples up here in a massive cave system at the top of a big staircase, which you'll see soon. And it's all carved into the front of a big cliff face. Limestone. I think we've got 272 steps to walk up. Whoa. Which is great. And it's 30 degrees. Lovely. Oh, well, that'll be good. We'll burn a few calories. We will. Let's check it out. So let's go. I think we've got about 5,000 pigeons going on here. <laughs> I reckon you call this the pigeon tree. That's a couple of white ones there. So we've got thousands of people here slowly building up through the morning. Why would you stand there? Oh, cool. nah. yeah, there. Mm. It's a good vibe. That's massive. So they're the stairs. Temple number two. So this building over here with the big murals on it is new. Last time we were here about a year ago, this was still in construction. Looks pretty good. All the tile floor done really well. This temple's very nice, really colorful. Big pink marble pillars. Yes, I think it's been painted that way. You can see inside there. So people would put the oil on. Um, this is a tradition, and then go pay their respects to their god here and get blessing. So this is. Tall. Uh, where? Like, wow. All oh, right. It's fairly formidable. And we've got, got the we biggest donation to the other I've ever seen. I wonder how long it takes them to fill that up. <laughs> so, this is, I can't, apologies in advance for pronouncing it wrong, but Murugan. And so, this is the god of war. He's the son of. Um, Shiva and Parvati, and the brother of Ganesh, and I think the uh, Gan Ganesha, is it? Yep. I think, yeah. So this actual statue is the second tallest statue of this particular god um, outside of India, and it's about 43 metres or 150 feet, I think, mm. tall. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's definitely impressive. Yeah, so, and, you know, for the god of war, one would expect an impressive statue, I think. It's only you, fitting. You would. Only fitting. So, yeah. And the stairs over here, what was that 200 and 272 200. stairs. Um, originally, they were kind of they were constructed in the 1930s, and they were timber. But by the 1940s, they'd started to break down, so the concrete ones were put in place then. But they weren't painted these colours until uh, 2018, I think it was. They were painted. Looks really good. Yeah. Right like that, doesn't it? It does. But, you know, it's quite warm. 272 steps to do. Yeah, let's see how we go. Let's go. So then we just went in and got a sarong yep. out of respect for the gods. Um, women must have their knees covered in and around the temple area. I forgot how much I dislike narrow stairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is not as busy as last About a quarter of the way up. Nice view. Yeah, it is. At the top. Wow. We step into the top of a cavernous cathedral-like entrance really is spectacular, massive. So we've got our niece with us today. First impressions of the Batu Cave, Sir Bryant? Amazing. You good? Take your breath away. Is that the stairs or the cave? Oh, <laughs> all of it really, but the stairs, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very good. Beautiful. 
No monkeys though. though. No. There's no monkeys here at the moment. Last time we were here about a year ago, there were hundreds of monkeys. So I don't know what's happened. Um, Might just be seasoned. I have not seen one this time. In here? Like shining through. Looks great. It's good. It's, it's, I shouldn't say it, but it's actually nicer this time because there are fewer people. Yep. So you can actually pause and take things in without worrying about whether you're in someone's way or photo bombing them or, yeah. So no, I'm enjoying it. You go back down, Brian? Uh, is there an elevator? Uh, I don't think so. No. I think we're going to have to do it on foot. We can get a drink at the bottom. Yep. Something deep. See, bribing you to get to the bottom. <laughs> get a bed. Huge o'clock. cabin. The stairs least travel on this side. The stairs least travelled. Yes. And that would be what on the left hand side of this column. Is that I, what you're saying? Well, I don't care as long as I get a handrail all the way down, I really don't mind. Yep. Fair Look at our pigeon I'm coming through. Okay, we're well, heading down. It's pretty steep. Looking down and up <laughs> directly. Some restaurants along here, we're about to go into one. All really well priced, local food, a few souvenir shops. We'll go and give it a go. wrap up with the Batu Caves. Thanks for coming with us. Uh, really good. We really enjoyed it. The stairs are a little bit of a climb. Uh, can be a bit steep. So if you're coming up this way, make sure you're a little bit fit. Um, definitely recommend it though. Yeah, and just remember to get into the caves, you need to have your shoulders covered and your uh, legs covered at least to below the knees. So if you don't, you can purchase a little sarong um, from the ladies at the bottom of the stairs, it'll cost you uh, the equivalent of five Australian dollars, but you get to take it home. So if you're short on sarongs, it's not a bad deal. Yeah, um, men don't have to have their knees covered though, it's just women. No, it's primarily women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just ladies with the knees covered, I think. Yeah. But um, come down for a local meal, straight across from the Batu Caves. Yeah. Traditional Indian, uh, vegetarian, so good, yeah. And I'll keep saying it all the time, but definitely so being the best. Yeah, you do yeah. say so good a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the rice, cabbage, the pumpkin mix, um, spicy pickle, papa dam with the, with the um, chicken gravy, all the trimmings, chicken gravy on top. Yeah. But I don't know how the chicken gravy works in with the vegetarian thing. So if anybody knows, write in, uh, comment, let us know. Yeah, and go the mango juice. Well, the lemon juice uh, is pretty good also. Uh, go the mango juice. Yeah, definitely. Mango juice. Either one is a winner. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys. We'll see you soon. See you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye. Oh, there goes the birds. <laughs> so, uh, just some logistical um, bits and pieces if you ever want to visit the Batu Caves. Uh, so, we're um, staying around the um, Bukit Bintang area, so it was a quick monorail ride to Central Station and then on the um, train uh, straight out to Badu Caves. And Badu Caves is at the end of the Blue Line. About so 30 minutes. Yeah, it's about 30 minutes, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy trip to, to navigate. Uh, when you're here, as Dave said, the food that we just um, had here 
I kind of expected it to be a bit overpriced because it, they've got a captured audience, but surprisingly it was really, really reasonable. So I think for three of us to eat and drink to our fill, uh, it was 58 ringgit, so you know, less than $20 Australian, that's for three of us, and it just doesn't get any better than that. And the quality of the food was awesome. And it was a good experience uh, in that particular eating house. So don't miss out, don't walk past it just because you think you'll get ripped off, because you won't. Um, come and enjoy the Batu Caves.